Flav City family, what is up? It is Bobby coming at you in South Florida. I'm about to go into the gym with one Mr. Brad and do a workout. And I thought I'd do a video all about how my workout is at the age of 43. Because if you remember last week, we did the video of my daily routine and what I eat in a day at 43. And a lot of you guys were asking about my fitness routine, which is very, very different than when I was Brad's age. Brad is 26. My workout was completely different. I want to break down my full workout, what I do, and then I thought at the end of the video, it'd be very fun to go to the grocery store and show you the best in class Bobby approved protein bar and show you what to avoid because a lot of them have like too much sugar natural flavors and other unsavory ingredients so uh, before we get rocking and rolling like subscribe share we have so much channel stuff coming at you uh, I also want you to check out thrivemarket.com using my promo link down below um, thrive market has been sponsoring the channel now for six years and the cool thing about thrive and why I love them is because everything you would get pretty much at any grocery store is on thrive market cheaper Per average, you save about $32 compared to going to the store, and that box comes to your door. You never have to leave the house if you don't want to. But what I love about Thrive, and I'm spreading the gospel about, is their chicken. They have a pasture-raised chicken box that is unlike anything you get from the grocery store. And if you're looking for a post-workout snack or maybe a protein-packed dinner, this box has your name on it. It's slow-grown, pasture-raised, non-GMO, heritage heirloom breed. The flavor and texture is unlike anything from the store, and I got you guys a hookup. When you click the link down below, you will get $20 off your pasture-raised chicken box, which drops the price to under $6-ish per pound, which is cheaper than inferior organic chicken at the grocery store. Plus, you get a free gift up to $31, and it's 30 days risk-free. If you don't love it, you could always get your membership feedback, but at least try it out. Try that chicken. It is delicious. Okay, less talking, more working out. Let's go do our thing at LA Fitness. My workout starts with about 15 minutes of a mild endurance warm up, get the blood flowing, and then we'll move on to lifting weights. Okay, the workout begins with legs. I'll start off with about 15 reps of usually kind of like a leg extension. The funny thing is when I was younger, I skipped doing my legs because it's all about getting jacked in the upper body. But legs are key to working out. I really believe you can't get strong upper body without a lower body. So I'll do legs all throughout my workout, but I like to start off with them because when you pump your quads, the biggest muscle group in your body, you get the heart pumping, right? So I'll do one set of that and then I'll stretch immediately. Then I move on to chest. I'll do about 15 reps of uh, bench press. I'll either use the bar or the dumbbells and I'll do about a 45 and a 10 on each side, 15 reps. And then immediately when I'm done, I'll go do a burnout set. I'll grab about 35 pound weights and I'll do flies and burn it out. And this, my friends, is basically my key to working out. I don't do heavy weight, I'll do lower weight, and I do burnout sets, and I do active recovery. You'll never see me sitting around because as soon as I'm done with that, I'll go over to do abs. I'll do abs all throughout my workout, but also crunch them at the end of the workout. And I'll do an active recovery of say 15 ab exercises, followed by lower back exercises. Very important, not just to hit the front, but hit your lower back too. You ever seen people at the gym kind of cowered over like that? It's because they're only working their front side, not their back side. So as soon as that active recovery is done, I'll go into another set of legs. I'll do probably leg extensions. I'll do about 130, 150 pounds for about 15 reps. Uh, not super heavy, but it definitely gets the heart going. And then as soon as I'm done with that, I'll go on to back exercises. So once again, active recovery. I'm giving my upper body a break by doing legs, but I'm not sitting around just like uh, catching my wind, catching my breath. I'm doing something else. For back, I absolutely love pull-ups. I think pull-ups are like the ultimate test of your true strength. If you could do a pull-up of your own body weight, that shows me, I think, that you're strong. So I can do about 15, no problem, max about 25. Immediately go to the dumbbell area and do back rows. I'll pick up about a 42 and a half pound weight and do 10 to 15 back rows. And then I'll do one more breakdown set, usually on the reverse fly machine. And that really hits the reverse muscles down here. I believe it's called the rhomboids and just gets in there. It makes me feel like I'm standing up straight. Those three in a row really work the back muscles, especially uh, the pull ups with the lats. And then I don't stop, right? As soon as that's done, it's time for active recovery. I'll go to another leg exercise. This time I'll do the hamstring machine and I'll do about 15 to 20 reps of about 90 or 110 pounds. So while my upper body's resting, I'll go do legs. And then when I'm done with that, I'll probably go hit some more abs. I'll do another set of like ab crunches followed by some uh, planks for my lower back. Those really get the back muscles going. 
and then it's time for uh, tries. Triceps, I'll usually do a set of tricep pull downs, but I do it in three uh, sets followed one by another, so it's a super set. I'll do 50 pounds, about 15, then break it down to 45 pounds of 12, and then about 40 pounds of 10 reps, and then I do a reverse set to really burn out my biceps. And then I'll immediately usually go to biceps. And I'll do a set of 10 at 45 pounds, a set of 10 at 40, then I'll burn it out with the supersets of about 27 and a half pounds, doing medium curls, really isolating the bicep. And then I'll get down to 20 pounds and do one more burnout set. And this is what works for me, right? Once again, I'm 43 years old. It's always weird when I say that. I don't feel like I'm 43, but I'm not going to get jacked. I'm going for strength durability, flexibility, and functional health. And then I'll go and do another set of legs. I'll usually do the adductor muscles, right? Towards your body is the adductor, away is abductors. It really works in the thighs. And then for the last upper body workout, I'll go and do some uh, shoulders and I kind of burn them out. I'll do 15 reps of about 40, 42 and a half overhead presses. And then I'll drop those and do some shrugs. And then I'll do one more um, trap exercise with about 20s and those burn them out great. Then I'll go do one more leg exercise. It's usually like a leg extension. And then that's the crux of my workout. But then I always finish hard on stretching, abs, and on now working on hip flexibility. So I go to the mat area and I'll burn on my abs pretty hardcore. I'll do uh, stuff I learned in Pilates. I used to take Pilates classes back in the day um, and I do a lot of abs. So I got to even out the back and the abs. I'll do planks. I'll do swimming motions. But what I also started doing lately is working on hip flexibility. If you follow me on the Flav City Instagram, uh, you'll know that uh, I'm having serious tight hip issues and working on strengthening my hip muscles and loosening and uh, stretching my psoas, my IT band, my piriformis, and it's been working. I've only been doing it now for five days and I've been getting a lot of results. And usually the test is that at night, I've been flipping side to side because my hips hurting. I guess that's a telltale sign of sciatica, but now it's starting to go away with the exercise and the stretching. When it comes to hydration during my workout, I like to do one of two things. Primal Kitchen makes this collagen quench. It's flavored collagen peptides that is next level. I'll scoop it into my water bottle with water, but the ingredients are great. The one I use today is dragon fruit. And what's cool about collagen is that it has 10 grams of protein. It's not a complete protein, but it still is protein. And if you look at the nutritionals, it also has potassium. Potassium is an electrolyte. I'll never use electrolyte powders. Those always have like natural flavors and other unsavory ingredients, but that's fantastic. But if you want even more electrolytes, sometimes I'll put a scoop of freeze-dried coconut water. Laird's Superfood makes a flavored coconut water that's freeze-dried with real fruit. Like one has orange and guava and coconut water is the best source of um, electrolytes. Back in the old days, I think in World War I, they would use coconut water IVs to give dehydrated soldiers um, hydration. It's really cool stuff and it flavors your water. And you guys know how I feel about uh, collagen. I'm 43 years old. I talk about it all the time. As you get older, I really believe in having a collagen supplement because it helps with joint pain. It helps with the natural collagen loss in your body. And it really helps with hair, skin, teeth, your gut, your nails. Countless fans have told me that their joint pain went away after two weeks of collagen. Um, if you want an unflavored collagen, Thrive Market and Costco have two of the best. But the funny thing is the Thrive Market one, the one that I use, is about the same price as Costco. So if you're not a Thrive Market member yet, click my link down below, get your discount on that pasture-raised chicken, but also add the collagen uh, peptides from Thrive Market that's unflavored. That stuff is a must at least once, but I do it twice every day. And then the workout is pretty much over and I'll go home and make a post-workout smoothie. If you didn't watch my video last week about what I eat in a day at 43 years old, go watch that. My full smoothie recipe is in there. Rose loves it, she crushes it with me. But a lot of people always ask me about a Bobby approved protein bar. It is slim picking, my friend. So let's go to the grocery store really quick and I'll show you some of the best options at the store. Brad and I are scouring the protein bar section here and this is tough. No wonder you guys have been asking me. A lot of these bars are just not Bobby approved. I found one, literally one, but let me show you. You gotta be careful of natural flavors, added sugar, unsavory ingredients. And one I used to love, I talked about it so many times, was this one, Bulletproof Bar. But I think they just reformulated and added a couple new bars here. And the reformulation, unfortunately, added natural flavor. See at the bottom, these never used to have natural flavors and I loved them because the protein was decent. I mean, seven, I prefer higher, 
but the ingredients were great with the MCT. Now that's a no, right? Uh, Go Macro is very popular, but they have natural flavors too. Uh, this is one of the better ones, Garden of Life, but still, these guys have two kinds of natural flavors. That's par for the course. Almost all of these, my friends, have natural flavors, but I found one and one only that is head and shoulders above anyone else, and it's this. Boo. Boo Fit also makes Boo Keto stuff. Like, this is really good. I had it recently at Erica's house. Check out the ingredients on this guy right here. So, ingredients are next level. They're keto, so they start with uh, fiber. Everything's organic. See the palm oil there? That's red palm oil. Mark this day in history. You almost never see red palm oil at the store. That's the only good palm oil. It's kind of like virgin coconut oil. It's great. The reason why you don't see it, why don't you see it, Brad? Money, like Mr. Wonderful says, it's expensive. This is the only brand I've seen that uses it. So that's very cool. And the rest of the ingredients are phenomenal. Monk fruit, not monk fruit sweetener, pure monk fruit. Got the MCTs in there for good uh, energy and brain health. Real vanilla, macros, 12 grams of protein. I wouldn't mind a little higher, but that's okay. 17 net carbs minus 15 grams of fiber, only two net carbs. This is phenomenal. And the ingredients on the other one here are great too. I would scoop these for sure. To be honest, I wouldn't recommend any other one here. I'm sure there's other ones online. Oh, and wait, Brad, come over here. Settle this bet for Brad and I. Brad is saying that he considers these kind of bars, like meat bars, to be protein bars because they have a lot of protein. I say no, these are like savory treats. They're not protein bars. This is the kind of protein bars. Vote now, leave a comment down below. You vote, you decide, this is in 2021. All right, family, that is it. That is my workout routine at the ripe age of 43. Brad, how was your 26-year-old workout today? Good. A little cardio? Yeah. Sounds good to me. Um, so that's it. That's my method behind my madness, how I work out and what I do, what I do, and uh, looking out for you for the best quality protein bars at the grocery store. And once again, if you want the best quality pasture-raised chicken, try the Thrive Market pasture-raised box. Get $20 off using my promo link down below. Gets the price to about $6 per pound. You will love this chicken. Uh, but that's it. If you want to see more content like this, just leave a comment down below. We make these videos for you. Um, but two more videos are below us right now. For Bradley, for myself for the whole gang we leave you like we always do hashtag keep on cooking mad love and peace later that's florida for you loud mufflers everywhere <laughs>